Hi guys, this is a redirect to my reaction to One Piece, the One Piece movie called Film Z, Film Z, however you say it, I don't know, um, but wow, I really like this movie. This movie is definitely one of the best One Piece movies along with Strong World. I really like Strong World as well. Um, I don't know which one I prefer, but I mean, re regarding the villain for this um, particular movie, um, Master Z, Master Z, um, he was a really cool villain. I actually really liked him as a villain. Um, I, obviously I didn't agree with what he was doing, um, but I really like that we got a lot of backstory, a lot of depth into like why he wanted to destroy all pirates, why he had like such a huge, huge grudge against the pirates that is even more of a grudge than anything that a Kainu might do. Um, even though I absolutely hate a Kainu, but like, I had to like make a comparison somehow. Um, but yeah, damn. Okay, so firstly, um, we get some insight about Zed first. So he basically created this organization called the Neo Marines. Um, the Neo Marines, um, so they used to be Marines. Um, Z, Iron and Binz, they used to be Marines, but then they wanted to create their own organizations betraying the marines um and their mission is to find the diner rocks the diner rocks are comparable to the ancient weapons so they are very very powerful weapons that they want to use to destroy the free endpoints in the new world and if they destroy the free endpoints in the new world then basically all the pirates will be destroyed in the new world because all three endpoints if you destroy them then it will destroy all of the new world but the thing is is that it's not only going to destroy all the pirates it can actually kill innocent civilians as well um so the marines were totally against this um they wanted to track down z but z he is extremely powerful he had this arm this huge gun arm thing that he was using to take out so many marines all at once and it was just really incredible the cinematography the animation was really good obviously with when it comes to any anime movie they always put the they always increase the budget the animation budget for um the movies that's something that i've noticed um but I mean, it also had a really good plot, um, and I really like Ayn's, Ayn, I really like Ayn, she's a pretty cool filler character, I believe they are filler characters, Master Z and Ayn, um, but I mean, regardless, they were pretty cool characters, um, so with Z, like, um, he's just, he was so full of hatred for the pirates that he was willing to destroy all of the new world in order to eradicate all the pirates um so the reason why he wanted to do that was because um a pirate actually killed his wife and his son all those years ago as well as killing all his fellow marines um so he used to be an admiral when he was in the marines well he he started off as like an a uh, a marine soldier and then he became a vice admiral and then a mar and then an admiral i guess um so he basically his rank basically increased as the years went by and then he finally quit after so much heartbreak so much emotional pain of having lost so many people um that he cared about because of all these devil fruit users and pirates so he specifically made the gun arm which is made out of kairoski kairoski is basically sea stone and sea stone and the sea stone gun arm can basically um nullify a devil fruit user's devil fruit power so he can effectively kill any devil fruit users with it um so it was a very cool invention um it's a very He's, he seems he was just so dangerous the way he was easily taking out all those marines and people around him um and then he destroyed the first end point which caused a huge volcanic explosion and then straw hats they had this volcanic ash that was like falling on them and it was kind of disgusting um <clears throat> but then it piqued Luffy's interest so he went over to where that was um and then he found this um and he found Z uh, Master Z he like because he managed to escape from that um 
eruption. Um, he almost actually killed Kizaru with that explosion, but Kizaru managed to actually escape on time just before he was able to kill him with the Dino Rock explosion. So basically, if you break a Dino Rock, if it gets exposed to oxygen, it will erupt. Um, so yeah, it's just it's very powerful these Dino Rocks, and to be used on the endpoints. Jeez, man, it's, it's such an ambitious and extremely bad thing to do because he's not realising, like before he wasn't realising that he could actually kill innocent civilians by doing this because he was destroying this whole island and those were people's homes um, and he was willing to end his own life just so that he can eradicate all the pirates um, and then there's Luffy, so like when they first met Master Z, they Chopper treated his wounds, so this was after the volcanic eruption. Um, and obviously back then, Z had no idea that they were pirates, and Luffy had no idea who he was. Um, but then, um, when Luffy revealed that they were pirates, Master Z lashed out at them, he fought them, um, but they, they um, then they managed to escape from that. Um, so, yeah, um, and then after that, um, Nami, Chopper and Robin, Nami, Chopper, Robin and Brooke, they had their bodies, um, back to, like, a younger version, um, so Nami turned into a child, um, Chopper turned into, like, a toddler, I guess, a two-year-old, I think, um, and um, Robin turned it back into an 18 year old and um, Brooke turned back like 12 years prior I don't know what his, what his age was but like yeah um, so this was done by I and her ability um, it's more than just age manipulation it's like minimizing things um, as well age manipulation and just minimizing things because she wasn't just doing this to people she was also doing this to like objects around her which melted and shrunk um so she has like this shrinking kind of ability um and she was trying to use that in her surroundings against Zoro because she knew that she wasn't as powerful as Zoro um meanwhile Sanji was fighting that really weird plant bender called Bins um, he was just annoying, to be honest. He was so annoying. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, those were the fights. Um, and it was just like, I mean, I was so against what Zephyr was doing, but I felt bad after I found out about what actually happened, why he became so hateful. Because he started off as someone who was, he who wanted to be a hero of justice someone who wanted to be noble because we saw him as a kid in the backstory right at the very end um and then like later like after like so much bad th but bad things happening like his wife got killed his son got killed his um the the pirates that he was close to they were all killed so not the pirates i mean the marines got killed um leaving only iron and bins um <clears throat> as survivors so yeah that's why they created the neo marines organization purely for the sake of revenge against the pirates for doing so much horrible pain and suffering um but it's it's a two-way thing because like the marines aren't always good themselves to be honest obviously they're more bad pirates i guess but like I absolutely hate the world government. The world government are scum. Stuff they do is just is disgusting. Like for example what they did to fish a tiger, um so many other bad things happened. Um anyway, um so yeah, um so Luffy he was so determined to get his strat back because um because Z took it away from him. Um so not only the, the the mission, the initial objective was to um, transform Nami, Brooke, Robin, and Chopper back to their normal selves by um, defeating Iron and Zephyr. But then it became a whole bigger issue because then they found out that Zephyr was actually 
is actually wanting to destroy all all three end points and they found out from Aokiji who is like the MVP for this um, for this uh, movie um, he actually told the story as the truth that these endpoints actually do exist and basically the world government are lying to their own marines that they don't exist because they don't want anyone to use that as a weapon against them um so yeah that's why they don't believe that's why the marines don't believe that it, it totally exists it's only the higher marines like sengoku garp the admirals only those marines know the actual truth that these endpoints do exist um in case there is a betrayal but obviously they didn't see coming that z who was an admiral would actually go against them um and use these endpoints to his own for his own agenda um so that's like a betrayal to the marines um they wanted to take down Zephyr, um and then after during the fight between Luffy and Zephyr, like Luffy he just he didn't want to kill Zephyr but like it was like a proper like beat down they just kept punching each other they used armament hacky against each other as well um but at the end of the day obviously Luffy is not going to kill him in cold blood um even though he even though Zephyr uh, surrendered in the end um and he actually surrendered to the marines and now Kiji basically blocked the Strat Pirates from like saving this guy wow that, that was that that was a really that was quite a sad scene because considering the fact that this guy started off as a hero of justice so a lot of bad stuff happened to him. So it's not like he just became evil for the sake of being evil. The only reason he became so corrupted is because of all that bad shit that happened. With pirates like killing his wife, his son and the marines that he was close to. Um, and in the end he realised his mistakes and he was willing to surrender to the marines. And just surrender to his fate of getting killed by the marines. Um, because of all the bad that he did. Um, I'm not saying that I totally feel sorry for him because he did so much wrong still and he should have stopped that sort of resentment but like it's still kind of sad um, especially when we saw the backstory stuff um, but yeah like wow and like Ayn and Bins they were crying over their master surrendering himself to the marines that was quite tough to see, um, but I mean, he basically allowed this to happen in the first place, um, so it is what it is, it's a bit sad, but I mean, like, I'm, I'm just glad that we finally, because I really, usually I don't like the One Piece villains, but this particular villain, even though he's a filler character, pretty sure he's a filler character, he is still an absolute badass for a f for a filler villain um for a villain in general um so yeah that's what happened um, a very good movie i really like the animation in this i really like just like the plot that was going on and the, and the character development as well we got a lot of character development from z um and usually with villains we barely get character development barely get any character backstory where we actually feel for those characters even though like they're villains but still like even with villains there has to be a reason for why they do the things that that they do otherwise it's just like oh so you're just evil for the sake of being evil and it's just like you have no substance then so i uh, yeah that's why i'm so glad for this movie i also really like strong world um so let me know what you think of this movie and stay tuned for more